Greetings, we are back at the beach with the Beach Tarot Week here for y'all. This is the week of the 27th. This is y'all Sagittarius, rising sun, moon, Venus, Jupiter, cuspers, cross watch us. Y'all know what to do, cross watch. We'll take what resonates, leave it on the eye of Ra. All right, let's see what else is going on for the Sagittarius this week. Taking the leap of faith, you guys, toward a new beginning. Oh, look at that beautiful shell. Oh, that one's beautiful. Wow. Okay. Wow. That was a beautiful. That's a long one, too. Let's see. Up oh, against the Queen of Wands. Taking a leap of faith with the Queen of Wands. Somebody definitely going out there after their uh, passion, their desire, a new beginning, socializing, social butterfly, hot mama sama, baby. It's a pound us. All right. So you guys are using your magnetism law of attraction here. Energy. The Sagittarius could be a masculine with a feminine energy. What? King of Cups in reverse. OK, so somebody is ready to pour out their passionate feelings and come forward with some of you guys and express the way they feel about you guys with that Knight of Cups. OK, somebody is definitely tired of holding their feelings in. Yep. They're about to come in there and communicate with y'all that they are ready to have a family and to have a loving commitment, love of their life. So y'all dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sagittarius that wants to come in, yep, and turn things around with y'all that have been chaotic in their world. So this person is definitely coming in to close out a cycle, right? The nine of swords in reverse, they have gotten out of their head. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody was staying up all night, miserable, not sleeping. Get out your head, Fred, and Frieda, and go to bed. All right, so somebody definitely was all overworked. Okay, with that, there's a cycle there. They're needing to close out. What else for our uh, Sagittarius? Yep, the magician. They are manifesting, y'all. They have gotten out of their head, and they are manifesting some new beginning. Again, something that they're trying to manifest and bring together. That's Aquarius energy. They, they're using the elements that they have to manifest. What are they manifesting? What are the Sagittarius are manifesting, spirit? Oh, some options, some choices, right? To, to, they're trying to manifest the best opportunity for themselves, all right? Yes, and trying to move forward with a decision. After being clouded by some options and choices, they want to move forward, yes, with that chariot card. And spirit is definitely urging some of you guys out there to move forward with your manifestations. Whatever you guys... Uh, magical powers is use your intuition that's cancer Pisces can uh, Scorpio chariot and magician Aquarius use the magic that you have use you have everything that you need willpower and all to make a decision okay y'all been wounded over the last cycle nine of wands wounded warrior finishing up a tough cycle of endings right look at there Lovers, somebody either wants a commitment here or don't want a commitment here. Yep, somebody has sacrificed a lot toward a commitment, emotional time and energy, and you guys want that return. Okay, y'all were invested in something that, yeah, didn't happen. Now, y'all got to make a decision about something. A Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, there's definitely going to be a window of opportunity for y'all to take action here. Yep. And look, y'all are standing y'all ground against any negativity trying to bring y'all down with that seven of wands energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What else? Justice. Y'all might be dealing with a karmic energy that's trying to hold y'all back. Uh, Libra, Venus, the scales. Things are going to balance out with this decision that y'all going to make. Some truth and clarity is definitely going to come out and come to the surface where y'all can be able to make a clear decision and move forward with y'all life so that is either a divorce for somebody separation for somebody or a marriage for somebody out there different uh sagittarius energies out there male and female take what resonate leave the rest oh we got a jumper there yep emperor in reverse y'all need to take y'all dealing with a karmic and y'all need to take control of y'all life y'all feel imbalanced y'all feel disabled by this queen of wands some of y'all this person has did y'all shitty and dirty with that nine of wands this person has definitely tried to smear y'all reputation ruin y'all company if y'all have a company emperor usually is a boss person or somebody in charge or this could be somebody that y'all work with that tried to just do y'all in and y'all are trying to make a comeback take your energy back right standing your power as the emperor okay and again y'all feel disempowered uh unstable y'all could be dealing with somebody that is unstable all right uh in the mind thinking with their lower nature and trying to release 
all the baggage that this Queen of Wands did or some type of business supervisor did to y'all, okay? What else? Somebody could have been had a uh, third party from work. Y'all want to take that new leap of faith toward that new beginning, all right? Yep, ending the three, uh, the Ten of Swords. Any, any negative, cutting all tides. Oh, I gotta let my legs out. Oh, Lord. Oh, my toes is asleep. Y'all got some beginnings and endings. Y'all need to uh, work out and come to. Uh, ow, 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 ow. Fruition with, all right, with that Ten of Swords. Ending, walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve y'all. What else, Spirit? For our Sagittarius out there, that's Sag, okay? What else? Whoop, yep. Endings. Completions. Y'all need to wrap some shit up. All right. Yep. Tower moment. There's definitely going to be some very bad endings, some tower moments. If you guys don't ever, if you guys do not go and cut the negativity out about a karmic or anything that y'all holding on to, it's going to keep y'all very unbalanced and unstable. All right. In your mental, there's going to be an epiphany, an aha moment, a realization of something. A tower moment, unexpected news. Yep, unexpected news. Yep, there it is. Y'all been warned, okay? Y'all been warned uh, that something is about to collapse. Something is about to break through, okay? In this release of these negative energies or negative thought patterns. Y'all stand your ground, though. Fight back and protect your energy from this queen of wands. Yep, you got somebody gaslighting you coming back. Play a player from the Himalayas. Yes. Whoop, the sun card. Y'all are going to win, win, baby. The sun card, abundance coming in. Passion is being renewed and ignited here. You guys are taking charge, being a leader, okay, with what y'all are, are wanting this breakthrough, this most powerful card in the deck. The sun card, vitality is coming in. The universe is working with y'all in harmony and balance to bring something around. We're going to end it there because I don't want to do nothing else with that reading. Most powerful card on the deck illumination okay taking back y'all power from a gaslighter from a player some of y'all were dealing with players yep release your ex time has come to clear your energy let's see what spirit got for y'all sag is out there we're on the beach week tarot let's see what's going on Whoop! honeymoon whoa honeymoon and wedding for the sag is out there Somebody is definitely coming in, making a decision to move forward with a new beginning in a relationship and disable the karmic. Move away from this karmic. Could have been the player, whether it was feminine or masculine. Could have been the player. Now you guys are taking that leap of faith again toward that what? That new love offer. So somebody enjoy the bliss holiday time together and wedding. Okay. This situation involves marriage for you fire signs. Chemistry is off the charts there. This is somebody that's compatible with y'all. Y'all share a lot of chemistry, electric, magnetic energy. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. One more card because we ain't going to end on no two. Right? Three is a binary. One more spirit for the Sages out there. One more. One more card for the Sag. All right. One more card. Oh, there we go. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart. Give and receive the highest energy of all. So y'all got a wedding, a honeymoon, and it is safe for y'all to love. What? Now that's some sun power. Judgment. Queen of Pentacles. Earth sign with the fire sign coming in there. The last four cards in the deck. Sun judgment new beginning stability in your emotions in your finances in your passion and desire feminine and masculine energy uh oh yep coming in there the uh i gotta get that card palace of the coins right behind it working on something working through a karmic toxic cycle so you guys have definitely been learning your lesson with this karmic and with this cycle. Something about business, career, and work is definitely coming in. You guys are about to get a promotion or you guys are working on a new career as well. And y'all trying to make a decision about something and there's your empress right there, Venus, Taurus. So you guys are working through a tough decision with a queen of wands, with a earth sign, fire sign, 
and an empress. And that empress can hold all three uh, of those queens. All right. So definitely y'all got some fire and desire coming in about your money, your finances, making a, a wake up call, a judgment call, a redemption and a resurrection into what? Life. All right. The sun. Pay attention to the red flags is underneath. So that is y'all Sagittarius reading for the week at the beach. All right. Down here on the shores of Galveston. Lovely view down there. Okay. Peace, y'all. Make sure y'all let me know down below if this resonates with you. Uh, if it don't, that's fine. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell button and drop it down below. And let me know if this is you or is this somebody you know. Peace.